want me to go for a reason. Curtis never has been, Curtis never will be. A celebrity poker tournament went down in Las Vegas with some of the biggest names in the world in attendance. And me, they invited me to be in the mix. What are we playing for tonight, you might ask? How about $50,000 and a bottle of Louis XIII? Our table is a good one. A few chess masters stand in our way. Trying to outsmart them might be a tall task. Everyone starts with a chip stack worth 100,000. You also get one rebuy token, and if you don't use that after a certain blind level, you get another 100K added into your stack. Hoping not to have to use that right off the bat here, I look down at King Jack of Spades at the 2K, 3K blind level and raise it up to 10K. One person puts in the call and Chase Damore, a master of love. He was on all of those Netflix love shows and uh, yeah, he puts in the raise here to 20,000 chips. Quick side note before I decide what to do here is that Chase learned how to play poker on the flight over here. So yeah, no shame in just having played for the first time tonight, but uh, gotta give you guys some information here cause that is definitely in my head as well. He raises it up to 20K. I'm not gonna come in for a back raise. I decide to put in the call. Pearson was the player in between Chase and myself. She decides to fold, leaving us two hooligans to go heads up to a flop. The flop comes queen nine four with two spades and Chase decides to bet out for 4,000 chips. Let's just uh, put this in perspective here. The pot is 52K. He bets out for less than 10% the size of the pot. I don't think I'm going anywhere here. A raise doesn't really accomplish too much. I have a gutter to the straight. I have the front door flush draw. So I decide to toss in the 4K chips. Leading us off to the turn, which comes the 10 of clubs. Bang, we turn the straight. Right away, we have the nuts. Chase now slows down and checks it over to me. In an interesting spot here, I have the nuts. He could have any assortment of one pair, two pair. He could even have a set, although I think he'd continue betting with three of a kind. I'm also not scared of really any card on the river other than maybe a club. Any spade would give me a flush and that's a pretty good hand to have. So I decide to give him some rope to go for a bluff on the river, maybe overvalue a one pair type of hand. And I decide to check behind here. Definitely a player dependent play here. I think if I was playing 5-10 at the win, I'd probably just continue to bet here. But uh, yeah, I check behind on the turn, bringing in the four of clubs on the river. Chase does not take the rope. Instead, he checks it over to me. Now we need to go for value. I have the king high straight. It's a great hand and I bet out for 30,000 chips. Chase goes into the tank here. It looks like he doesn't want to fold. And after a little bit of deliberation, he does in fact put in the call. I turn over my straight and uh, yeah, let's just bring it to real time to see what he showed. He has a, sh uh, he has a straight. King high straight. You can, you can, you can slide him. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't. Can show, you can show. I'll show, I'll show. There we go. It's it's king. King. Okay. Nice call, bro. Yeah. Off to a good start in this tournament. We have 150K in our stack. The blind level has gone up. It's 2K, 4K now. And I look down at Queen Jack offsuit from the hijack. I decide to open it up to 8K and the small blind who goes by FaZe Nikon. If you guys are gamers out there, you'll definitely know of the FaZe clan and FaZe Nikon himself at the table puts in the call out of the small blind, leading us off to a flop which comes King 10-5. It's a rainbow board and he decides to lead out into me for 10,000. I have an open-ended straight draw. I don't have any backdoor flush ideas. I decide just to put in the call here, looking to spike an ace or a nine on the turn. That's not what we get. Instead, the queen of clubs peels off and he continues to bet for 10,000. Interesting spot. I now make a pair to go along with my straight draw. I think raising here doesn't make much sense. He's probably going to be leading out on the flop with like hands king 10, maybe a hand like king queen, king jack. I decide just to put in the call here, bringing in a gin river card. It comes the ace of clubs, giving me the straight. I'm hoping he doesn't have a hand like king jack because we would be chopping. And I don't think king jack would go for a check here, which is what he decides to do. So I need to go for value. I have the straight. We're chopping against any other jack, but beating two pairs and sets. I'm hoping he has a hand like pocket fives or pocket tens. I bet up for 35K and he doesn't take too long and puts in the call, not wasting any time. I turn over my cards and he turns over his as well, but it's inferior ace 10 offsuit for two pair on the river. And we are scooping in that nice size pot. 
Let's freaking go. It's a loser. Into the nuts. It's okay, you made the vlog. <laughs> It's that time of the night where the add-on chip turns into 100K. So basically the blinds double every 15 minutes. So uh, super turbo at that, 100K more coming into our stack. And we look down at ace-jack offsuit from the plus one position. There's 250K in our stack, but look at the blind level. It's 20K, 40K, yes. Nothing really has happened in the last few uh, hours. And now we're stuck with a 20K, 40K. So we have less than 10 big blinds at this point, and I shove all in. The big blind decides to call for less with ace eight, and uh, let's send it to a run out. Best hand I got in an hour man. and a half. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, listen. Let's end it. Alright, Nick. Yep. It's okay. Tish you just had it. Are you so confused? I won. I'm trying to understand what <laughs> What'd you had. A pair of decks. After scooping in that 330k pot, we find ourselves in this next hand with Ace Eight of Hearts, 350k in our stack, and uh, yeah, it's 25k, 50k now. Still looking at less than 10 big blinds. I decide to rip it all in for 350k over a 50k limp. Player on my left puts in the call for less. And the limper also calls for less. We are going three ways to a flop. This is a very, very big pot. One that we're definitely going to need to win. Obviously, we have both other players covered, but uh, if we lose this one, we're gonna be crippled and on life support. When we see the hands that are turned over though, we're loving life. Queen 10 of clubs from the big blind, that's the smaller stack, and 10-8 offsuit from the villain and the plus one. We are sitting in pretty good shape. Uh, even better shape here when the flop comes ace, six, five with two diamonds. Need to fade a few cards, but it's definitely a welcome sight. The turn comes the five of clubs, followed by the four of diamonds. Mm, that is one of those those hands you got to win. And that's good. You win a tournament. Here. With that. I'll subscribe to Next Gen for the run good. Let's go. Bruh. And look at that. 765 coming my way. We got our boy Rosie behind me. Let's freaking go. Chipping up. All right. Ace eight suited worked pretty well for me there. How about ace nine suited from under the gun? We're still at the 25k, 50k blind level, and I raise it up 2x to 100k. And the player in the small blind, Chase Demore, and the big blind put in the call. We are going three ways to the flop, which comes pretty favorable on a king 10 8 with two clubs. The action checks to me. I want to bet small here. Try to get some fold. 75k is the right price. Let's see if anyone continues. Chase is a sticky player. Maybe the one video he watched on the flight over was titled How to be sticky in tournament poker. But he puts in the call here and the turn now comes the jack of spades. When he checks it over to me, I think betting and checking both have some merit. Our stack to pot ratio isn't looking too great. So I would either have to shove or check. It'd be ambitious to think I could get a hand like 10-9 to fold, given the fact Chase is known to call with uh, any pair, really. I think checking back here might be the better play. He's going to have a lot of weak one pair, but then again, he's also going to have hands like King Jack, 10 Jack, 10 8, Jack 8, things that aren't going to fold. So I'd rather just realize my equity here with an open ended straight draw and the nut flush draw. I check behind, bringing us off to the river. River does not improve us at all. It comes the five of diamonds. Bummer card there. Chase checks it over to me, so it's possible we could be good against a hand like 7-6. But uh, yeah, not many hands we are good against. I check it back. He turns over 8-6 of hearts. A shove there on the turn might have got the job done, but this is definitely the weaker one pair that I could have put him on. Instead, though, Chase is taking down that 450k pot. And uh, yeah, all the good players just keep getting the chips. Sometimes a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while, and it seems... As if in this spot, that's exactly what happened. All right, we are at the 50K, 75K blind level. I have 450 in my stack. Look down at ace, queen offsuit, a beautiful hand, and I shove it all in from middle position. Everyone folds, but uh, no worries. We are taking down 125K in that one. Moving into the second break of the night, a pretty big accomplishment making it to the second break. And uh, yeah, one thing I am wondering though is when they're gonna put me on the feature table, the live stream, hold your horses. We might be making an appearance in a few hands. But as for now, we are at the 100K big blind level. I have 600K in my stack and I look down at Pocket Nueves. Middle position puts in the call for a 100K. Small blind is all in for 50K. And uh, yeah, I'm getting my stack in here with pocket nines, middle position calls. And uh, yeah, we are going off to a run out. 
What are the hands we are up against? The 50k stack has 9-5 offsuit, so we have that hand crushed. However, we don't like seeing the 9. Makes it less likely we are going to hit a set. The villain in the middle position, though, that has a bunch of chips, we are flipping against Queen Jack of Clubs. Let's go off to a run out in a 1.25 million chip pot this one is massive and look at that the case nine comes out bang we flop top set the turn gives some false hope to middle position his club draw is not live we flopped a boat and the river seals his fate with another deuce we're taking down that 1.25 million chip pot a little bit of luck a little bit of skill no matter the circumstance we're knocking players out one of them is the grandmaster to our right dina a good friend now, and uh, sorry I had to knock you out, but she got super good at poker in these few hours that we played together. I sent her a few pre-flop range charts, so uh, in a matter of months, I have no doubt that she'll be making another deep run in a tournament. See you in a little good bit. Good job, Nima. Show the we'll boys. see you at the after bar. All right, we just knocked out one chess grandmaster. Let's see if we can make it to Nima, an Instagram and Twitch sensation in the chess field. She jams all in from under the gun for 675. What do we look down at? The beautiful ace-king offsuit from the cutoff. Yeah, I gotta go all in here. It's a premium hand. I'm gonna have everyone covered here and I rip it in for 1.2 million. The villain in the big blind is also going to go all in. However, they have much less, 125K in their stack. We turn over our cards. I have ace-king, Nima has king-10, and the villain in the big blind, queen-9 offsuit. We're looking pretty good here, around 51% chance to win this one. Until the flop comes out, king 10 high. No way. Nima spikes it up to 72% chance to win this. There's a king on the turn giving her a boat. We need to spike an ace. Will it come? Nope. The seven of diamond seals our fate. And uh, yeah, look at that smile from Nima. She's scooping in that 1.5 million chip pot. How can I be mad though? Good for the game. Let's get some more uh, chess players into the game of poker. She's raking in that pot, but uh, fortunately for us, we do still have some chips behind. Things are getting spicy in this one. I have 500K in my stack at the 100K blind level. So I have five big blinds. It's a super turbo and I jam it all in with 10-9 suited for middle position. Villain on the button puts in the call. Yeah, we are going off to a 1.15 million chip pot, and he turns over pocket fours. It's a flip until the flop comes. Ace, ace, nine, bang, we flop two pair. He has 8% chance to win this. It goes down and the turn and on the river until he has zero. We're raking in that pot in a flip situation. And the best news of all, after raking in that pot, our name finally gets called for the feature table, streamed live on Poker Go. The camera was out for Wolfgang with quite the rail behind him. What is happening here? And Wolfgang does find the double. Is that the restaurant guy? No, it's the poker vlogger. It's not not Wolfgang Puck. Wolfgang, he must be one of the most experienced creators here since I, he's I actually would think a poker so. guy. If you're a poker vlogger, you're probably pretty good, I would imagine. All right, you guys, pretty surreal experience being on the feature table in the Poker Go studio at the Aria. We have 1 million chips in our stack, up from the 100K chips that we started with just a few hours ago. I'm very excited. Actually, yeah, Wolfgang with nines. <laughs> it is. We look down at pocket nines, a beautiful hand. We are at the 200K blind level, so we're looking at five big blinds. I've pretty much been playing a five big blind stack for the last two hours. Five big blinds and I have a pretty good pair. That means I am going all in. Nima on my left, who crippled me a few hands ago, finds the fold. Action folds all the way around to Marshall in the big blind. What does Marshall look down at? He just has to have pocket jacks. Oh, oh Marshall, Marshall has jacks. He has me covered by a little bit. And uh, yeah, we are going off to a run out. Not a great situation, 80-20 dog. And we're gonna need to spike another nine here and flop another set of nines if we're gonna wanna stay in this tournament. However, if we do, we are gonna have a pretty formidable uh, chip stack to go along with it. Let's go off to a run out. We did, and I did actually flop a set of nines the other, um, <coughs> I got nines. Thanks, Rosie. Camera's out for the vlog. He's got jacks. Oh, this is the 2.1 million of the right pot. Nine. Queen five, three, two spades. Oh my days. Backdoor flush draw is there for Wolfgang. For now, needs a nine. Oh, nine. It's oh. not there on the turn. Something crazy happening at our oh. outer table. I don't know who's up right now. Who's up? It's five, you're two. up. He's and you're a, the winner. And, he's <laughs> yeah. and you're the winner. Nice hand. Good hand, bro. Beautiful. Good Thank hand, you, people. Bro.
Yeah. Poker is wild. So yeah, it wasn't in the cards for me tonight, but placing 11th out of 90 people, definitely an accomplishment, a very cool experience, and I got an awesome YouTube video to go along with it. Let's bring it to the outro. Thank you very much. All right, you guys, this wraps up the day. Super fun session. The winner was just announced, Nemo, and she's taking it down. We made a deal with her at that second to last feature table. She said if she won, I get to take a shot out of that very expensive bottle of uh, alcohol. So I'm definitely gonna do that. But as for me, I busted in 11th place for a profit of $1,000. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't make 20, 10, five grand, something like that, but definitely a fun experience. Shout out to everyone that I met. A lot of new uh, Instagram friends here. A lot of really cool, influential people that I met tonight. Um, as for now, we are signing out. We are flying back to Michigan and then to Chicago, then back to Dallas. A lot of fun things planned on the vlog. Good luck on the felt as always, you guys. I hope you run about as good as I did today in some of my all-ins. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Poker? Okay.